Welcome back, Basin Dwellers, to another Zelda Twilight Princess HD episode right here in the basement. Hey, you're going to want to stick around to the end of this episode because Ted's going to tell an embarrassing story about the first time he met a friend of mine that has no arms. I am? Yep. Yeah, so last time on Twilight Princess HD, we summited the snow peak, and then we went snowboarding on an ice cube, and we met the guy from Monsters, Inc., and he was like, hey, who wants a snow cone? And uh, he gave us a yellow snow cone. It was lemon. It was delicious. <laughs> now we're in his mansion. Yep. And we're trying to find him. I think Peter just found him. Oh, oh. found someone. She's so... I mean... Who? Oh. Sorry. Sorry. I have sickness. Oh, she, is she Russian, too? Oh yeah, she's more Russian Come too. Come closer. How do you do a so Russian she's... woman? Sounds the same as a Russian man. Come uh, yes. closer. Come closer. My name is Yvette. <laughs> you cute little human. Husband told me you come. My husband found it. But pretty thing. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna do this. <laughs> but since I get mirror, I get sick, and then bad monsters appear. Many bad things happen since the mirror. I'm starting to think the mirror is bad. So we lock bedroom on third floor where it hangs, huh? What? I tell you where key is. <laughs> I love his accent. This is great. It's perfect for these guys. The green rooms are ones that you visited. The yellow, we've used maps in a Zelda game before and in this Zelda game before. We're fine. Fever, Fever makes, makes head, head blurry, blurry but, but it's probably here in the room marked by symbol. <laughs> you know what? I'm Thank guessing you. she's wrong. Probably. We'll find out. Okay, so right, right, uh, right, uh, oh, that's how I do it. Right over there. Uh, right over there. there. Right there. Zoom out. Wow. This is so cool. I you wish I could live in a... Bring it to me. Wouldn't it be fun to be able to just be in a, a, a castle like this for oh, like... Let's go to that door. Yes. I don't know. Like a month? Just on top of a mountain. No one can find you. You're just there with your wife. Hanging out. There's a fire pit. You got a large library of books. You just enjoy the warmth. Ah. And eat stinky fish. Yeah, reek fish. <laughs> Sounds great. Mm. Okay, she wanted us to go through this door first, or the game did, or I don't know what. But okay, hey, here that's we found a good, our that's old pal, Booby McGruber. Ah, you! This guy's great. Wife look bad, huh? Not healthy since mirror, no. I think she looks okay. She's kind of cute. So I make soup for her. Ew. Fish from Zora Village are most nutritious. You tired, huh? You have some. It give energy. Well, don't mind if I do. First, we're gonna go into the old inventory and grab ourselves, um, you know what? So, a question for you basement dwellers. We don't need this, If uh, you could live in a really awesome mansion like this on top of a mountain and have, you know, all the amenities of the mansion, it was warm and just, like, cool, but you could only eat stinky fish soup. Uh-huh. How long would you want to take a trip to said mansion? Everything else, all the expenses are paid to get there and everything. The Sherpa takes you up to the mountain and all that stuff. Not very but long. how long would you be willing to live in a place if this was the only thing you could eat? Because that's kind of what they're going through, you know? Yeah, that's true. That's exactly what they're going Look through. Look at that fish head. Would you like to have the soup that just had lantern oil in it? <laughs> This bottle mm. <laughs> just had lantern oil. It replenishes two hearts. It's like drinking a cup of coffee that, like... Was full of. That's it. Oh, Peter. That's this okay. This is gonna be a little tedious. I only gotta drink two more. Okay. Simple soup. I wish, though, that it didn't tell me the name of the soup every single time I scooped it. Oh, yeah, tell me about it. <gasps> but, but, you got the same soup as you already got. Oh, I'm so excited for Breath of the Wild, Peter. Basic dollars, are you guys excited for Breath of the Wild? Yeah, I totally what am. What is the thing that you are most excited about for that game? Um, Tell us below. I'm excited for the open world nature of it. Yeah, I'm really, really pumped about it being open world. And Miyamoto said, like, this game, in a different vein from most other recent Zeldas, is that a lot of the story is created from within the player. Which is awesome. Yeah, that it definitely means looks like you we're can making go, our own story. go to hard places first and, you know, not not do it in, like, the order, which is great. What kind of items am I going to want? I don't know. Wow. I just go grab a few here, and then we'll uh, I started keep there. going. Keep going toward uh, toward where we think the key is. Yeah, why not? We're all stocked up on health. We got uh, one jar of simple soup. So we, we can a, take one hit? All right. 
We gotta move some. Uh oh. Oh, that's good. Ooh, oh, puzzles. Good. It's puzzle time. Okay, let's think about this. We got a block. We got a block of ice. A block Probably here. can't do much with that. Got a big metal block. I'm guessing if we push it, it slides. Yes. Woo! Wow. Tell it means resistance. There is zero friction there. Zero. Yeah, I know. How nice is that? Just give her How one push and she glides forever. That's pretty neat. Tell it's an aspen tree, by the way, it is. <laughs> yeah, what's the deal with this video? Apparently it's funny. You haven't seen Nietzsche walk? Uh, maybe I have, like, once, uh, and I wasn't impressed. Peter, well, here here you go. The link for Nietzsche walk is in the description below. Oh, dang it. Which means <laughs> Peter's going to have to watch it to find it. <laughs> Put it in the video. Perfect. Now I Just have the remember, excuse I always wanted. Yeah, it's great. It's great. Just watch it with Kelsey. You'll have a blast. Yeah, yeah I opened blast. the door, except I think the door I actually want is... Oh, it's up here, but I can't climb this high because I'm just a... Ice cube? I'm just a cube. No offense to More the like actual ice cube. Rapper slash actor. <laughs> actor slash rapper. Am I right? <laughs> I'm so glad that this is actor slash rapper, not the other way around. I was just thinking about Fabio. <laughs> These ain't no slashies, folks. <laughs> um. Oh, that is suspicious. W wolf could pass. <laughs> uh, how do I turn on my senses? There we go. Dig, dig. Digging it. Dig, dig, dig. And Down into the snow. Down whoa. into the slopes. Look at this place. It's got a heart lock. Burr. I know, I just got cold. Did you too? <laughs> no. I actually, like, got goosebumps. <laughs> I was pretend. I'm feeling chilly. Pretending. Ooh, there's a cannon. Yes, that's definitely a clue. A clue, a clue. First thing we gotta do is fight these wolfy jerks. Come here, you. Oh. Oh, my. Ow! Like oh, apples? They're cute, though. Just, they're playing. They just want to play with their wolf friend. They're like... <laughs> they, they do not want to play. <laughs> you know how dogs are. They look like they're fighting, but they're just... <laughs> they're just toying around. They're just trying to kill each other. No, they're just playfully playing. Look at this. It's so cute. I feel like I could see this with the, I don't know, some playful puppy music, you know? <laughs> Just like Milo and Otis style. It'd be funny Have you seen the... Milo and Otis? Yes. Great play. Oh, that's so good. I gave it seven thumbs up. And that, like, British guy who's, like, voicing all, everything in the whole movie. It's a narrator who does all the voices. Is it the same guy that does Planet Earth? Uh, maybe? That'd be funny if it was. Well, have Gosh, you seen the movie guys... recently? Is there, a, is there Have you seen easy... Milo and Otis recently? Yeah. Because all it is is they just put a dog and a cat in places, and then they made up what they were saying. Yep. And then at one point, they're like, well, we need some kind of peril, so let's put this kitten in a box. Yeah, in the and river. And put it down the river. I know, it's terrible. <laughs> and the poor cat's, like, getting, like, wet. It's freaking out. Yeah, like you, see in my you can tell the cat's like, oh, I don't understand. Nobody yeah. vision cast this to me. <laughs> you got uh, well, it, what's Mo? my motivation? You're gonna die for real, though. Yeah, <laughs> we've listen. We've got plenty of more Milos in the back. <laughs> You're um, an orange tabby. Let's just put it this way. You're not rare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got more, plenty more where you came from. We're on a farm. There are, like, th at least 300 orange tabbies. Okay, so I dug my way into this room, and then I humaned my way out. Oh, oh. look at those guys. I'm not sure what the key is for yet. Oh, we're gonna get a way to melt the ice. I'm just going... You know what? This is a bad idea to just straight up go for it, because health is so hard to come by in hero mode. Fortunately... We can go get the suit. Wait, he was dancing around on the stuff that wasn't ice. <laughs> oh, yeah, here's what the small key is for. Fortunately, you had a key. A key Unfortunately, a key. this room locked behind you. <laughs> Fortunately, Fortunately, she said yes. What? Unfortunately, the question I asked was not, will you marry me? <laughs> Fortunately. But rather, was that you who hit me in the head with an axe last night while I was sleeping? <laughs> yep. But fortunately, she missed. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, 
my pillows destroyed, and it was very expensive. Fortunately, Fortunately I had pillow gift. insurance. <laughs> <laughs> pillow insurance. Unfortunately, oh, I'm getting I had pillow insurance for 50 Look, years. Look, there it is! <laughs> there's where the sick lady with the fever thinks the key is. Surely there's a key in there. Surely this wasn't too hard to get to. Look at that. We can just walk right in. We can just waltz right in. Just yeah, turn on some 3-4 no music. Oh. Oh. oh! Whoa! They're like crazy robots, Stealthos! Yeah, these guys, huh? Whoa! Whoa! Javelin men? Hey, where'd you get the other one? Did you pull it out of your torso? Pulled those out of us, took us! I'm just using the move. Oh! There we go. Run away! The move is twice as strong, you just spam it. It really doesn't take that long to do either. Yeah, it's. And there's like very low miss percentage, it seems like. It seems like it's pretty easy to connect with it. Yeah. As well. Longer's holding Z, which. You have to in order to do the move. So dead. Yeah, what's up, Peter? Uh, are you wearing socks right now? I am wearing two socks. Did you know you have holes in your socks? Ankle size socks. I did. Ank Otherwise, ankle they would just size. Say, Ooh, Orden this isn't pumpkin. a key. It's a pumpkin. Oh, that's right. I remember what's happening. Uh, what's this? This isn't right. She got, she the, got wrong the wrong location. location. She's we all go back sick. to her and try to get her to remember? Yeah, surely she'll get it right the second time. True. Why don't we ask the guy who's making soup who isn't delirious? Oh, because he's not too bright. He's a Russian and he's full of vodka. That was redundant. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> that was, Fortunately, that was racist. <laughs> Unfortunately... What do I do? Where do I go? Climb up it? Oh, can you pull it? What if you put your iron boots on? I think I have to come from the other side. Yeah, I think you're right. I think all this does for now is... Like, this is a small shortcut back to this room. Where that's still like that, so I can just... Mm -hmm. Go in here? Is this where I want to go? Or is this where I want to go? Oh I my goodness, the map! Go. What do you guys think of when you look at the map of this level? What do you think of? I think of the game Clue. Yeah, hey buddy. Oh yeah, totally And the clue. Stalfos was killed Speak. in the billiard room by what Link flavor? with the revolver. This is funny, you ready? Bumpkin! pumpkin. You have pumpkin, Kaboom! Huh? <laughs> I will knock you down and put pumpkin in the soup. Zero anger there, just... You know, lots of violence. So you didn't cut it up or anything, you just put the whole pumpkin in. You know, it would, like, infuse the flavor a lot faster. Check this out, though. I know, you I got- I just remembered this and it was awesome. First we're gonna drink the simple soup, then we're gonna dunk a thing in the stuff, and it's gonna be a different kind of soup called good soup. Got pumpkins in good it, soup. replenishes more hearts. Soup is good. Soup is good, it replenishes more hearts. Um, guys, stay tuned eventually for a episode of The Basement on The Basement, where we sing the whole time. <laughs> Ooh, that would be really... that was really bad singing, though. Yeah, I, I know, really it would be it. hard to... It's funny, because... Wait, what are you talking I about? I can actually sing, and it's weird. Hey! Because, like, I'll be singing my daughter to sleep, and I'm, I'm singing poorly. And it works? I'm just... well, I don't know, I mean, she falls asleep pretty easy anyway, but just, like... Pumpkin? I don't know. Oh, good. Yeah, where'd I leave it? It's like when I'm in my most oh, natural state, I don't sing well on purpose. Because I don't really feel like trying. When you're in what state? Like my most, most like restful, natural oh, state. Yeah. So yeah, in the basement, for the most part, I'm not going to be singing like, you know, really well. I just... Oh, okay, so now we're na, 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 na. I don't know. I just think it's funny. <laughs> she has no arms. Check the room. I'm I think I know what her sickness is. <laughs> Armophobia? That's afraid of your own arms. Listen. <laughs> ah, there's you, two of them. <laughs> you have the right to bear arms. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. I think she's a crazy owl slash pineapple lady. Um, I w you know I once knew a crazy owl slash pineapple lady. You remember you met her that one time? Yes. Uh, Sharice. Yes. Why don't you tell a story about that thing that she said to you that was embarrassing? 
Okay, well, she walked up to me and she oh, said, Oh, I'm sticking in the snow. Whoa, 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 get out of the snow. That's not what she said. <clears throat> she walked up to me and uh, she said, like, Hey, um, first of all, I have no arms or legs. I think you've noticed that now and an eye because patch. I walked up here. <laughs> yes, please don't call me names. But um, your fly is down. Mm. And I looked, and sure, sure enough, enough, my Whoa. fly was down. Okay. Now, bummer. The crazy thing is, I was wearing a full parka, like uh, uh, all the way down to the ground. <laughs> I don't know how she knew my fly was down. I had she to take the jacket. I had to take the jacket off to even see. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna go check. But give me, uh, give me since then, Sharice has become a great family friend. Um, we play we play cribbage once a month with Sharice. Uh -huh. Of course, yes. She has to bring her uh, her uh, helper monkey yep, to be able to hold the she cards. Have arms. Yeah, but uh, she's just a class Whoa. act. She's a class act. She's a great lady. Where's the key? And let me tell you, her banana oh. bread, pff, out of this world. <laughs> How okay. does she make it? The monkey helps. Oh, which, uh, helper. it makes sense. It's, it's really all the helper monkey's bread. <laughs> it's his recipe. It's He got it from his mom. I mean, that makes sense. The monkey mom. That makes the most sense. <laughs> oh, but, uh, Peter, you met you met Charisse. Yeah. Well, um, she was my friend first. Yeah. Tell I introduced you to her, and then yeah. your, your fly was when, I don't even remember. What, how did you meet her? I... I can't remember. You told me the story before, but I... Uh, oh, wait. It was at the train station. I went to... Yeah, it was at the train station. I was on my way to a um, math majors and handicapped persons conference. Uh, yeah. Yep. And uh, I'm one of those, and she's the other. And uh, I don't know. I guess uh, at first I thought it was weird that they would group those two people together, those two groups together. But it turns out they get along really well. Oh, that makes sense. You remember, um, you remember uh, Rain Man and Tom Cruise? Yep. Well, Rain Man. Yep. Yep. He's a math major, and Tom Cruise has a disability. Yep. Exactly. So and that's why they got along so well. Yeah, I killed you with the cannonball. Take that. Didn't um, even suffer any damage. I also Don't remember Good Will Hunting oh, because oh. Uh, Matt Damon was really smart, and he was also Matt Damon. Matt so the two went Damon. together really well. Ah! You're getting frost. Stinking hero mode. I'm glad I have some times. soup. Yeah, it's, it is kind of nice to finally have a way to actually, like, replenish ourselves. Yeah, that's gonna be a good thing about this dungeon, I think. Cannonball, cannonball. I don't know that I would hold this directly over my head if I was walking on ice. Haha! -ha! I just don't know any other less awkward way to hold it. I guess. If you tried to hold it out in Maybe. front of you, it's just too heavy to... Yeah, you'd probably get some sort of, like, painful... Okay, so hernia. this is a little poster that says, here's how this works. I'll spare you the details. First, you stick the cannonball in. Then you okay. aim it at what you want to die. Okay, like that big wall of ice. Yes, it's like like big point. wall of ice. Big wall of ice. Ice, baby. <laughs> then you get out your bands. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Bands. It's clever. And Just using the clever, the bombs as the, as the ignition device. Wow, Lincoln stand right there <laughs> bravely and be totally fine. Yeah, you would definitely die if you stood, like, all the bomb that, like, hurts you, like, a couple hearts when it's going all in a bunch of different directions and is, you know, ten feet away. Yeah. All of that energy is going toward pushing the cannonball, which is quite heavy, and escaping out of that hole onto your face. Yeah, there should definitely be some sort of latchable, uh, oh boy. A top, like a cap. Can I, uh, oh dear. Oh man. Okay, two things this reminds me of. Final Fantasy 3 or 6 in the Japanese realm uh, has this cool kind of scene where you're above an opera that's taking place Ugh. and you're fighting bad guys in the rafters of the theater. And it feels like this. Also, Chrono Trigger has uh, an area of the game that is walking across beams in the ceiling, and you have to catch oh. you have to catch a crazy oh. rat. Oh. oh! Hey, I was chasing him on the way down. He was still there. So like, I'll get you! Good job, we used draw if distance. If it's the last thing I do! Oh, and then the ice thing is like, it will be! Are the bats back? It will they be. They are back. That's a good joke. I missed it. <clears throat> Missed the joke. 
Okay, let's see. So I'm not going for that second guy because I don't like all that slidey business. Oh, the first guy is gone. No, wait, no. He's just there. Yeah. He was in a different spot before. Why did I roll into him? Don't slide down the hill. You will. Oh, shield attack. You will. Alright. I, I do have to go this way. Yep. Just gotta be careful. Wear your ice boots. And by ice boots, any. I mean the other things. You need to eat your soup! Wow. Okay. Those bats are making eagle sounds. Like, go! Oh, let go. Okay. I can't slide down that or I'll fall. So you jump across. Oh, yeah, right here. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna drink the soup. Drink the soup! Um, I also have a fairy. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So, so that's, you can afford to that's die, good die. to know. Okay, here we go. We're gonna jump across! Oh, pfft. Who would do that in real life? No one. Nicely done. Okay, you can't walk across it, you'll slip and slide. You gotta jump across that and then walk to the right, grab what's in that other chest, and walk to the left, and then. Ah! I'm not sure why that happened. Oh, yeah. did the enemies respawn again? Yep. Oh, come on. Lame. Lame. Meanwhile, we're out of soup. And life. Yes. That's ideal. Can you hit those guys with a... Yeah, this is where... No, I tried. This is where he was before. Up! This isn't good. Okay. It's okay. We'll just use it. The fairy will get used up if I don't do this well. That's true. You always got a good backup plan with that fairy. Down to half a heart? That's perfect. That's plenty. Oh, there it goes. There's that fairy. Fairy's gone. So you can't mess up now. Come on. Ah, they're so so touchy about how close they have to get before you can sword them. Mm-hmm. And how far away they still can be when they get you. All right, guys, we made it uh, to this little treasure chest over we here. We sure did. It won't let me look at Let's because that guy's over there. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ooh, a stamp with a Hylian letter B. Oh, Bo beautiful. For boring. <laughs> For bro, right. we don't want to. Okay, mistakes. don't open that chest because next time in the basement we're gonna see what's inside. Oh no! Thank you so much for watching this video and subscribing and liking and commenting and hanging out with us here in the basement. We'll see you next time for some more Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD and some other great games in between now and then. In the basement.